Please leave your message for 8184528382. Hello, it's Miles Henschel again uh, from the Free Miles MC YouTube channel. Um, you wanted to call me back on Monday. I haven't heard from you since. Uh, I still wanted to ask about the collaboration inquiry about the motorcycle surf mount. Uh, I've wrote your company multiple emails, but still haven't heard anything back. My trip is going to start tomorrow. I, I still hope that I'm going to hear from you. Well, fuck, I guess we're not getting sponsored for this one. I am Miles. I grew up on the swells of central Germany, or to be more exact, the lack of said swells. In a small beautiful town, small enough that you know everyone. But too big for anyone to actually say hello. 100 years ago, the city decided for a prison instead of a university. It's a city that leaves you searching. So this is a big map of all the major surf spots in the world, as you can see. And we're going to focus on Europe. We're going to make our way from the Prisque de Crozon over here, along the Atlantic coast, along all the surf beaches, into Spain and through Portugal to Nazare. And the Nazare are the biggest surfable waves in the world. This is our goal. At least that's the dream. For now, for our start, we need to make it from here in North Germany, all the way to the Prisque de Crozon, over here, that's over 1,400 kilometers, with the surfboard on the side to serve our first wave. This is my Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. I gave the bike the name Bodhi. That's Bodhi. They call him the Bodhisattva. He's a real searcher. What's he searching for? The ride. The ultimate ride. I absolutely love this bike. Since I bought it, I could not let it rest. I so often had to take it out and ride it hard into the sunset. I love how it sounds. How its vintage dress makes this modern bike wobble in the curves. With its reliable engine, its upright seating position, it's perfect for this trip. Kind of a can-do-it-all machine. Perfect for having fun in any condition. Actually, with the same mentality I had around the Royal Enfield Interceptor, I chose the surfboard for the trip. It's a 7.6 long uh, Malibu with 50 liters of float, which should be alright for my 100 kilos. I used to have a short board, but surfing is about catching as many waves as possible and just having fun. So I thought this is probably better for a variety of conditions. And kind of, I would have probably went with a longboard, but because I transported on the motorcycle, 7.6 was kind of the maximum I was comfortable with. So I haven't been surfing in over two years, but I picked up this surfboard in France while I was in home office and tried it out for one day. It, it went okay. I, I, I have trust in the surfboard and yeah. So let's get all the other stuff ready and then make the 1400 kilometers all the way to the Presque de Crozon and see if we can catch our first wave. It's four in the morning. I spent the whole day packing and now I'm finally ready to get on my trip. And in the morning after a few hours of sleep, I will get going. So let's go.
So we're now officially on the motorcycle surf trip. Uh, don't be confused by this amazing weather. We are having autumn. It's late September by now and the sun is already setting early after some of the most atrocious summer months that I've ever experienced in Germany. So we now do the first few kilometers with the motorcycle surf mount on it, uh, the motorcycle. I was not really able to test ride this whole construct because um, this is not exactly roadworthy, like at least not in Germany. That's the thing. Like this is kind of what makes German roadworthiness inspectors, the TÜV inspector, uh, wake up sweaty at night. I also hope that we don't run into any police controls or anything, because they will shut this shit down so badly. I mean, it's it's actually legal after the 22nd uh, paragraph of our uh, traffic law, but uh, German police can be quite uh everything that seems odd is automatically illegal so yeah let's hope that i don't get stopped so that's basically the goal now making it to the german border without being pulled over for this shit and i think after germany we're so far good i especially at the coast i think no one will bat an eye so what exactly did inspire me to do a motorcycle surf trip I had the whole idea already since longer and I wanted to do this trip with the XJ actually and I tried out different mounts for that one but I didn't manage to get the motorcycle running. So um, I, I always see those commercials for vintage bikes and they do all this crazy like motorcycle camping lifestyle kind of bullshit I have to say and I thought that's the most unrealistic tour concept that you can kind of do. And I was just thinking to myself, uh, let's try it. Let's let's see if that actually maybe works. So we're now driving onto the highway. So we're going to see the first few curves with the motorcycle surf mount and how much wind this thing actually catches. So let's go. I mean, it does quite fine so far. Uh, I, I checked out how much clearance it has and it, it looks quite good. Uh, I should be able to get some proper lean angle with that one. Uh, but I have to say, I will, while I'm on the coast, I will use it to go to the beach and so on, but occasionally also take it off and explore with the motorcycle. And uh, because always with the thing on, uh, it kind of gets in the way a little bit. So I will take it off and just have some fun with the motorcycle as well. But I have to say here now, at roughly 80 kilometers an hour, everything is super fine and I don't even feel it. So yeah. <laughs> So I just found some shadow behind my surfboard. We made it out of Germany. We're now in Belgium. That is amazing because my biggest worry was to get pulled over by the German police because uh, they're just not playing around with stuff like this. <sighs> we still have a little bit less than 1000 kilometers to the Presque des Croissants, but I have to say it is really hot for uh, autumn. Like we're having way over 30 degrees. I didn't expect this. <laughs> um, but so far I'm doing fine. I mean, in summer it would be the same. So let's do some stretches and get back on the road. When I first encountered this traffic jam, I thought I was stuck in this heat. But luckily, even with the surfboard on the side, filtering went quite fine, even though it was quite dodgy at some times. So I continued my way along the land posts of the Belgium highway with my goal in mind for kilometers on end.
So we're now in France and we're now close to 850 kilometers and soon the sun is setting. And so far I have to say the motorcycle surf mount is doing well. I basically don't feel it up to 140 and b above 140 I just haven't tried yet and also won't because no. It just really does amazing. Speaking of the surfboard, I kind of want to tell you guys a story of how I got to this whole idea basically. Uh, before I had this YouTube channel I kind of was really into traveling and then started to go surfing. I bought myself this surfboard that I saved up for and I traveled to so many great places with it, met so many great people, lived in my car for quite some time. Yeah, that's basically what I did. I uh, traveled with a buddy of mine through Europe with the surfboard and through Australia and sadly one day the surfboard got stolen out of my car um, and that kind of put an end to me surfing because uh, surfboards are expensive yeah and and now we're back at it so I'm, I'm really happy about that but at the same time it's it's a bit weird uh, having met all those people earlier in life and now seeing that they all do normal stuff and I'm out here trying to make this happen I guess with this channel yeah also uh, because I haven't surfed in quite some time and spent a lot of time working I kind of got out of shape so I had to train to be in surfing shape basically because surfing against popular belief is physically very challenging like condition wise uh, upper body strength wise so I I did some pull-ups I, I paddled against the local river currents and I um, did cardio and I hope uh, that that gives me quite a good start because uh, I could have done more but work and stuff you know and also now we should roughly be half our way or a bit more than that on our way to the Presque des Croissants The sun is always setting in the west and from where I live all I have to do is follow the sunset to get to the Atlantic Ocean, driving closer and closer to the sun, knowing it will lead me back to surfable waves. Est-ce que vous euh, travaillez ici Oui. Euh, C'est complètement complet euh, Vous avez besoin d'électricité euh, Ça marche euh, sans bien. électricité aussi. Oui. Euh, il me faut juste un endroit pour dormir. Pour la nuit euh, oui. Avec la moto. C'est une petite moto. Alors, 10, 10 euros. 10 euros. Je voudrais euh, payer avec carte. Avec carte. Est-ce que c'est possible Oui. Yo. So we're back on the road, the night was good even though it rained and it got quite cold but we now roughly made 1000 kilometers and uh, my neighbors said today it will be very windy so let's see how the motorcycle surf mount handles that.
all of a sudden it's turning really really cold I really have to put on some warm clothes because all of a sudden the weather is realizing it's autumn and not summer anymore oh, exactly what I needed rain kilometers by now I kind of realized that highway restaurants are their little own little ecosystems and I wanted to point this one out in particular look at this restaurant ad it's so bad it's good I mean it looks like a movie set straight out of some grindhouse B movie somehow this is one of my favorite landmarks speaking of landmarks the Mont Saint-Michel We just got going after our small look at the Mont Saint-Michel and we by now made most of the kilometers that we need to make uh, to go to the Prisky de Crozon to surf the first few waves and I have to say it's a weird feeling being on the road again like in a way it's it's quite a lonely experience you know because you you go away from everything you have from all the social contacts and you're just on the road it's just you and your bike and yeah it, it is good but like definitely the first day it's it takes some getting used to being like yeah i'm just going one way and that's the direction also i have to say the motorcycle surf mount handles curves also surprisingly well um i i think the point where the motorcycle surf mount touches the floor is a little bit lower than the foot pack, so I have to be careful. So we're now finally on the narrow roads of the Prisky de Crozon and the weather is great again. Uh, I'm so done from the last 1400 kilometers. That was a lot of motorcycle riding I have to say. And I'm right now just happy to get off the bike in a few minutes. I have to say to some degree on a trip like this a motorcycle can have some advantages. You know, because driving through those narrow roads right here in a big surfer van, like a VW uh, van or something, would not be fun, especially with oncoming traffic like here. And there we have it. The Atlantic Ocean. This right here is the Plage uh, de Goyen. It often doesn't really get big waves, it's mostly good for beginners, except for like two, one or two days a month, then it just really gets insane here and you can have some really big waves, but not today. We're probably going to choose another beach for our first little bit of action with the board, 
right here it's uh, it's just a really convenient camping ground that's close to kind of everything on the uh, half island oh. but there are some surfers trying their luck out there even though they don't really see how much sense that is making because we're having full tide and there are not really many waves yeah that's kind of the thing about the Presque de Croissant why it's also nice that we are here now in autumn is all this has become very very touristy I, I used to surf here a few years back when there were no Germans and, and now it's overrun by Germans I mean I'm one of them so yeah like if it's a good day there are over a thousand people in the water right here it's it's really fucking bad localism when, I, when it comes to surfing just sucks you know but here I can absolutely understand it like and, and also localism in some ways is happening here like flat tires for big vans and so on so let's hope that the camping ground has room for us so that I can set up camp and then grab my surfboard and go with the motorcycle to the beach and ride the first wave <laughs> On my first few tries in the water I struggled, didn't really catch the waves, had a lot of white water and also wiped out. But I wasn't giving up, I was trying and trying. Then it finally happened, the first proper wave of this trip. What a turn. And it definitely wasn't the last. If you like what I do here on YouTube, please leave a like and a comment, it helps a lot with the algorithm and also the link to my other socials and my Patreon is down in the description. And I hope I see you soon.